Hey, good morning, New Mexico. Happy Saturday. We are tracking just a little bit of sunlight as the sun begins to rise over the Duke City with our Sandia Crest Gambit. You can sort of make it off the tree branches. We are also tracking a little bit of some snow that fell from yesterday's uh, moisture that passed through the region. Now, what we are going to be dealing with this morning because of all that moisture that we saw is the possibility of some morning fog developing across the Albuquerque Metro. But of course, across the Sacramento Mountains, uh, we are dealing with uh, actually a fog advisory. We'll talk about that shortly. But expect a milder afternoon and a drying trend to continue for at least the weekend and into the early portion of next week. Right now, we're off to a very chilly start. Check out Durango. Good morning to you. 18 degrees so far this morning. Upper 20s for Moriarty. Right at that freezing mark for Duloso and 41 degrees out there towards Roswell. That fog advisory in effect at least up until 8 o'clock this morning. A visible visibility down to a quarter of a mile. So just be careful while you're driving out there. Just to recap what we saw yesterday, we saw close to four inches of snow at Sandia Park. Uh, for us here in the Albuquerque Metro, anywhere from a trace to an inch, an inch for Rudoso and Tijeras, close to two inches of snow. Uh, now, this is the biggest record that we've ever seen of snowfall at the Albuquerque Sunport. Uh, three tenths of an inch. We usually average our first snowfall around November 27th. Remember, we're going through a very dry trend. And so to see some moisture be recorded at the sun pour is some good news. It's still uh, less than what where we should be for this time of the year. So still close to a four inch deficit. But hey, we'll take what we can get as, at least for the month of November, right? As for today, I'm not forecasting any rain for at least here in Albuquerque. Temperature is back into the mid 50s, so a little bit more milder afternoon. There is that possibility of maybe a couple sprinkles across the southern half of the state, but I think we'll be left with mostly cloud cover and temperatures rising into the 60s for areas of southwest New Mexico. This includes Deming and Las Cruces. As for your Sunday, more moisture tries to seep in from the south, checking towards the north. There's that possibility of some light rain to drizzle across southeast New Mexico. This includes Roswell, Carlsbad, and Hobbs. Temperatures back into the 60s, and for us here in Albuquerque, we'll climb back into the 60s, so a little bit more milder afternoon for the second half of the weekend. You put it together, here's that seven-day forecast across northwest New Mexico. Uh, we're in the mid-50s today, upper 50s tomorrow. We're back into the 60s. Our next disturbance set to arrive late next week and it looks like it's just going to bring in some rain. Temperatures will be a little too warm to see any of that. Maybe uh, snowflakes uh, mixed in there. Southwest New Mexico, we're back into the 60s off the mountains. In the mountains, we're in the mid 50s today, upper 50s tomorrow, and then we see a little bit more moisture return come Thursday and Friday of next week. Southeast New Mexico, we are in the upper 50s today. More seasonable like temperatures to be exact. And then we slowly see that warming trend, potentially seeing some drizzle tomorrow, some possible rain on Monday, but then we're back into the 70s by next week, uh, into the mid-70s to be exact uh, for Thursday into Friday. Northeast New Mexico, 50s across uh, Cedar Crest, Edgewood, and Moriarty. Good morning to you. Las Vegas, we'll see a little bit more sunshine today and really for the next couple of days before that cloud cover returns. We're back into the upper 60s by Wednesday. North Central New Mexico, good morning to our friends in Los Alamos. You're in the 50s today. Same with you in Chama, 52 degrees for Santa Fe. More sunshine today and warmer conditions for the second half of the weekend before that cloud cover arrives by mid to next week. Metro, here's the forecast for you folks. 57 for the South Valley, 56 for Los Lunas, and then here's that seven day forecast. So it'll be a mild Veterans Day, but then we get more mild and dry for the next couple of days before we introduce some rain back into the forecast Thursday and Friday with about a 10 to 20% chance.